We killed the dragon. Well, I am quite sure that I am the one who dealt the final blow with my bow. But much more than that, I just might be a dragonborn. You know from the old stories. I have the power of the voice, like the Greybeards up in High Hrothgar. This is amazing to me. I still don't know what to make of it all. But, at the least, we now know that these dragons can be killed. Though without me, I don't think it will be permanent. As a dragonborn, you take the power of their soul. Actually, you just take their soul. Sort of like you're the dragon soul gem, and you cast soul trap on them. That's what being a dragonborn is. You take the power of their soul, but what happens to a dead dragon that still has its soul? I was wondering, would it just get right back up again and continue on? Possibly fully healed? I don't know. It's all just a guess for me. Maybe with dragons returning, dragonborns are being discovered quite by accident like myself. Are there other dragonborns out there? Hmm. What is the difference between being a dragonborn and not being one, but like the Greybeards being able to use the power of the voice? Now, with this voice thing, Foos! Uh, I cannot shout it right now or I'll blow everything in front of me out of the way. Or just push it away. I'm thinking, maybe like the Nords of old who had the power of the voice, I can use the voice to help in combat. Though I have to get used to the idea that I even have this ability. This may take time to bring it into my style of fighting. Maybe I can learn other words too. Perhaps the Greybeards can teach me? They did call for me once I got to the outskirts of Whiterun, and I have been told that that means they want me to go see them. Dovahkeen, they said. Looking at my map, there are things along the way I'd like to accomplish first. So, this may take a while to get to Iverstead, which is the town at the base of the mountain, the throat of the world. You need to climb the 7,000 steps up to the top where the Greybeards live in High Hrothgar. Every Nord in Skyrim knows about them, and the power they have over the voice. I suppose I should be honored, but I am more scared than anything in truth. I don't know why I, of all people, would be Dragonborn. But I will do what a Nord has to do, as I feel it is my duty to help protect Skyrim against dragons. <sighs> well, my new duty. But the attention this will bring me, it is not a good thing. As I said before, I am being hunted. Back earlier in the year, after meeting my mother, half-brother and stepfather, and the family. The family? No. Not my family. <laughs> Even though, yes, they were my family. Oh, this is confusing. It has two meanings. The family is the name of the small guild of thieves my mother and stepfather ran. But they were more of an assassin type than thief organization that worked alongside the Thieves Guild. They dabbled in everything the Thieves Guild did, but their speciality was assassination. As I said before, I was intimidated by them. So for the first time since coming to Cyrodiil, I kept quiet and I wasn't a boisterous Nord anymore. With them, I tried to be all business. Though I kept a friendly face, it was an act. I couldn't relax around this group. My mother seemed to be in overall control of this guild, though my stepfather, a braggart, who everyone said was the best sword fighter in all of Tamriel, had a strong voice in it too. I didn't like them, but I didn't always have a choice in work. I did some stealthy jobs for them now and then, and at least they paid on time. But Orland, my younger brother, my half-brother, had been pestering me to work with him on a high-risk job for several months. Feeling like maybe as the older brother I can help influence him for the better. I kept putting it off, but at the same time telling him someday we will do it. After the next job with Inigo, whom I kept away from the family through repeated warnings, I told Orlin that I'll return and we can do some of this work he wouldn't stop talking about. I had a bad feeling about Orlin's job. My mother already lost my half-sister when she was young, and I had the feeling she was quite bitter over it and very protective of her youngest son. So, keeping all this in mind, I gladly went to Skyrim for the first time since I was 16, just to get away from the family, 
who were increasingly taking up more and more of my time, both in work and outside of it, since my mother kept on requesting my presence at her home to get to know me better since she had given me to my auntie shortly after being born. I felt that I couldn't refuse spending time with them. I was too scared to say no to my own mother. She had a way with words, but I suspect magic was involved from time to time. And worse, the scary assassins she employed. She liked to send them to fetch me. So, seeing Skyrim for the first time since 11 years before with my good friend Inigo was like a holiday, an escape from what I had back in the Imperial City. I had thoughts of not ever returning too, but Inigo and I had a job to do up there. Uh, but the next thing I know, I woke up in the Temple of Kinnereth in Whiterun, being healed as if I were a wounded soldier. I had been shot with an arrow that looked like it pierced my heart, though I remember none of it, or what happened to Indigo, or even what the job was. I haven't seen or heard of him since. My head was badly injured and I think I took a fall or I was clubbed by a blunt object. All I know is that I saw Skyrim while riding next to Inigo, and then I woke up in the temple. I've wondered if the family tried to have me killed for leaving Cyrodiil. Maybe Mother suspected I wouldn't return to the Imperial City. All I know is that someone thought I was dead, though I was thankful my horse remained by me. The priest told me that without the horse, I wouldn't have been found. My head was still very bad for several weeks once waking up, and I barely remember even coming back to the Imperial City through a carriage with my horse following along behind it through a rope. Though I know I did it, my memory of that time is not all there for some reason. So I spent a week resting once I got home to my shack in the waterfront, and then one morning a knock on the door came. Orland was there, asked me why I was being so lazy staying in bed for so long, which made me wonder why I even returned home. As I said, my head wasn't right at all. Parts of my memory are still fuzzy. I think since mounting my horse to ride north to Skyrim with Inigo, and by the time Orlin knocked on my door was over a month. And most of it I can't recall. But considering that Orlin knew I was in bed at home for so long means I was being watched by the family, and I didn't like that. My own mother came to see me after, and she used some sort of healing on me that made me better. From then on, my memory stopped being so hazy. It was also then that she warned me that if I ever got Orlin hurt or in trouble, I would be the one who suffered. When she said those words, I saw an actual happiness come in through her eyes, like she looked forward to harming me. I knew then that my own mother enjoyed the suffering of others, and for some reason she wanted to see me suffer, maybe most of all. Mother was a master illusionist, even though Auntie told me she was kicked out of the College of Whisperers. She had great powers of persuasion and invisibility. I should have backed out of it with Orland. I don't know why I ever said yes to him about the job. We went over the details of it. It was to be a heist of a wealthy merchant here in the city who was known to have bodyguards. He wanted me to lead it because I had a reputation for getting in and out of places unseen, and he would be there right behind me. The problem was that I was still not fully recovered, and my skills had slipped somewhat. I agreed to do this job, knowing I wasn't at my best, which was another mistake. Though he had inside information that it had to be done at a certain time on a certain day, which made it all the more pressing. The payout would be nice, but the problem was the danger. If something happened, especially to Orland, I feared more from the family than being sent to prison again. I should have known better. This was about as dangerous as crossing the border into elsewhere again. But why did I agree with it? I think in some way, I felt that if I helped Orland, I would be in good graces with the family. They were my family too, but I was an outsider who never fit in. Maybe it was because I thought if Orland was happy, Mother would be too. But just like elsewhere, it all fell apart. Let's just say, I think now that we were expected. Someone must have been tipped off. It was all going well until half a dozen of the merchant's bodyguards surrounded where they thought we were and demanded we surrender. We had a way out, but it needed to be taken immediately. 
I went for the exits in the sewers and told Orlin to follow, but he wasn't fast enough and was grabbed. I was able to get away, but Orlin was handed over to the Imperial Watch. Hearing her son was in prison, Mother had Temujin escort me to see her. It was because of me that Orlin was in prison, she said, and it was up to me to get him out. I neither had the coin or ability to break someone out of jail, and everyone knew it. But for some reason, she let me go, even after I stuttered out something to the effect that I would do everything I could, which even to me sounded weak and empty. As I walked away, I felt like it was as if the cat were playing with the mouse. I was a dead nord if the judge handed down a harsh sentence for Orland, and considering that wealthy merchant had a lot of pull with the Emperor, I knew it was time to get what I had and leave immediately. I would run to Skyrim and forget all about my life here in Cyrodiil, or at least the last couple of years after I was kicked out of the Legion. When I got to my home to grab my things, I found a letter that had been slipped under my door. I quickly opened it, greatly concerned about it having come from the family, with a direct sentence of death. Instead, it read, Your Khajiit friend is still in Riften. Come to the prison and take him away. It's caused a bit of stir for the guild here. Inigo was still there? I didn't have time to think about it until I was on my horse. I was too concerned about the family stopping me. Or worse, I was planning to go to Skyrim anyway, so my only thought was that I could reunite with Inigo there. But along the way to the stables, I ran into someone with a blade, and even though I was able to easily defeat this person, I knew it was because of the family. There was a bounty posting on him. It had my name, description, location of my shack on the waterfront, and a drawn picture of my general likeness. It said I was to be brought in alive. I had learned how the family operates. They would test the weakest against me first, which usually meant bounties for all to come and get me. And then they would send their own, more deadly ones if I still wasn't captured. <laughs> ah, but the family assassins wouldn't be out to capture me. They would be out to kill me. I was going to die for sure if I remained, and all I can think of was Temujin appearing out of nowhere and clobbering me with that huge two-handed hammer of his. I'm a tall Nord, but he is a good head or more taller than myself. He's the type of orc that scares other orcs. Bounty hunters would be searching all over Cyrodiil for me, and further. But the bounty hunters didn't worry me that much. It was the assassins that did. I hated to leave Cyrodiil because in truth with Amelia and Salonia, and even my father dying to retake the Imperial City, I felt an attachment to this land, especially since I had gotten to know it so well in the Legion. But now I had no choice but to return to my birth home, to Skyrim. Hod is the Nord who runs the mill down in Riverwood. So, from the missive, I have to collect Arcadia's potion for Hod. No, I don't remember there yeah, being a potion maker but, here in White Run. Oh, wait. No. Here it is. It's not a funny joke there. Or on here. Hello? Wait, I know you. I'm your. Yes. I am your Thane. You're making a mistake, though. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. I am the Jarl's Thane. I demand you let me go at once. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time. But even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. I have a nine. All I was spotted was trying to open up a chest in White Room. Ooh, nightshade. I think this is... Let me see. Well, yeah, looks like a mortar and pestle and a bunch of stuff coming out of there. Uh, hello. Mister, could you I ain't away? done nothing. You're the uh, drunk that's been hanging around here. Are you always drunk? Only if I can help it. 
but damn if I ain't almost sober. <laughs> hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Argonian ale? Yeah. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. I've had that a few times. It's actually expensive and hard to get. Hmm. Well, from one Nord to, I guess, a Red Guard that we both like to drink. I'll bring you that ale, old man. Argonian ale. I can almost taste it. Hmm. Also, here, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Good day. Just one gold, please? Oh, you're asking for gold? Well, I didn't hear you before. Here. I'm so hungry. Why are you out here alone, girl? I'm so hungry. Here, girl. Before we go, I've decided to see Farangar for answers. Farangar, I have some questions for you. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? Well, what's it mean to be Dragonborn? I don't know much. Only the old tales about the ancient heroes who would use the voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. They say the emperors used to be Dragonborn, but that all ended when Martin died during the Oblivion Crisis. The Greybeards can tell you much more than I can. They're the masters of the Way of the Voice, and taught Tiber Septim himself. What do you know about shouts? Well, I only know what I've heard in the old tales. Shouting is an ancient form of magic, the use of one's voice to project their power. If you can shout, you need to go see the Greybeards. They'll know what to do. Hmm. Are you the only wizard in Whiterun? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Okay, I'll deliver the frost salts. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. What's that supposed to mean? Tch, pompous idiot. Uh, where can I learn more about magic? A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. Hmm, well, I already know about that, but it's pretty far away. Do you owe allegiance to the Imperials? If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? Probably not. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the orders. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Good day. It's like dealing with an Altimer, he's so pompous. Alright. There's a tranquility in magic, don't you think? It is simply energy to be harnessed by those with the will and knowledge to do so. Have you encountered any dragons? Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf one I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. Hmm. Do you owe allegiance to the Imperials? If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? Probably not. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the orders. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Good day. No, 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 no. We're not done here, Farragar. What have you got for sale? Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Lydia is so good looking. Um... Yes, this is what I was looking for. Look at all these spell tomes. All right, so, Soul Trap. You have Soul Trap, right? Expensive, but I think it's worth it. There goes all the gold I earned from alchemy, but I can't complain. All right, so what is a light spell? You have a light spell? Candlelight. Well, it's cheaper. Hmm. Maybe it's Alteration School. Auntie told me about the different schools. I think there's five of them. 
Uh, destruction, alteration. Um, I forget the other ones. Okay, candlelight. And I think that that's good. Horses go for around a thousand. I have over a thousand. Now, let's try this. It was so easy the last time. Candlelight. Ah. Quick. I just read it and I know it. It's easy. Uh, soul trap. Yes. Alright, so. Candlelight should be an interesting spell, though I can't really use it when I'm sneaking around. But if I don't have to sneak, it's a good thing to light up the area. Like once I kill everybody <laughs> and then look for all their loot in a dungeon, which I plan to do fairly soon. So, candlelight. Uh, I guess if things get bad, I can always try the battle cry of a Nord. Let's see, where where's the other... And soul trap. Alright. Well, I don't think I can trap any souls in here. It doesn't work on anything uh, but animals, I remember. Read Nords of Skyrim. I want to take this book. Sometimes I used to read books while out camping in the wilderness. Alright, so, magic. Don't worry. Soul trap. Uh, and candlelight. Play my part. No, that was healing. Uh, can I do it? Oh! I did it! My very own light. I saw Auntie do this many times. She said when I got older she would teach me everything I wanted to know. But that never happened. Unfortunately, I miss Auntie and Uncle. My own light spell follows you around to see everything around you. What the mage used when we were in elsewhere. Alright, back to Arcadia, and then I'll go see about getting a horse in this lovely white rung Skyrim weather. Wow. I guess when I look at the skies, I see the birds, now I'm seeing if they're not dragons or not. This is really miserable. And that is High Hrothgar. That's where they called... I swear they said Dova King. Which I'm told means Dragonborn. In the ancient tongue. Hungry. You shouldn't have to be hungry, girl. Here's another gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Why are you begging? It's... It's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... Since, Since your Since mama died? died? My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Oh. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. Oh, by the gods. I miss so much. Uh, uh... I wish I had a home for you to stay. Now I feel absolutely terrible. You really reminded me of my own daughter. I could adopt you if you want. Really? Do you... Do you have a place I could live? No, not yet. I barely have a place for me to live. My tent. And the inn. Sorry, I don't. Oh, well. Thanks anyway, I suppose. I will be back, Lucia. I promise to you, when I get Just home, you can come and live there. You shouldn't have to live out on the streets. No. Ugh. <sighs> I can't believe she lives on her own. Well, it's too late. She lived on the street. Why don't the guards put her up somewhere? Children shouldn't have to live like that. Well, we'll go in the morning. Or 
Arcadia's uh, cauldron's closed. Hmm. I think maybe I should talk to this woman. Want to hear a little Lord Wisdom? You don't really know a woman till you had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Huh. Uh, I don't think I could have done that with Amelia, but <laughs> I would like to talk. Think you can go blade to blade with me? Well, You'd be dead in six seconds. Well, blade to blade, that's a different story. But uh, you must really love to fight. The heat of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest blades. It's an old Nord proverb. Mm. That and a true Nord never misses a chance to test her worth. To test her worth, huh? Sounds like you have a grudge against the companions from what I heard you talking about earlier. You've been talking to those companions? Too hot-headed, they cried. Weak, pathetic cowards, the lot of them. Why'd the companions reject you? It wasn't my fault. I told them over and over that it was an accident. They wanted me to prove my worth. So they threw me up against a young whelp of a lad, hardly old enough to grow his first chin hairs. I guess they thought a woman Once wasn't strong enough to hurt him. I didn't mean for him to die. Why would I want that? I just... I just lost control. Hmm. All right, Uthgard. Good. Chat time's over. You have a good drinking night. Oh. Uh, I heard wenches are dealing with some problems now. Maybe I can help you. It would seem so. Got info about a captured wench that may need help? It's all in this news. This is what I like about uh, the taverns up in Skyrim. Everybody drinks, including the t the wenches, and so as the night gets on, it gets even more interesting. Sometimes the wenches are a little slow. I remember getting my own drink a few times. All right, let's uh, get up early in the morning, and hopefully this rain will stop. Do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. Ah, uh, no thanks. I've already checked over myself. I'm fine. I have some frost salts for you from Ferengar. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Faringar first. Duh. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. <laughs> Potion of illusion, stamina, visibility. All right. Oh, thank you. Be careful out there. Well, the rain has gone. Okay. Overcast. It's still rain today, but huh? it's a better day. I can feel it. Come on, you guys. Let's see about getting a horse. And besides, uh, I couldn't have done that last night anyways because everybody goes to sleep around, or everybody stops working around eight. Same thing down in Cyrodiil. Maybe it's just what they do in Tamriel. 8 to 8, and then that's it for the day. Sometimes that's long working hours, I guess. Dear. Yorland works the sky for me. Watch out. How does any snake oh, let the guards deal with that. One day when I get a bow that I can kill deer, one or two. Shots, mushrooms. Oh, a dead duck. I don't think it's, uh, I think it's been there for a few days. Who lives here? Oh, maybe the, um, uh, this carriage driver. All right, well, they sell horses here. This looks like the stable master. Let's see what he sells a horse for. 
Need something? Yes, I do. Hmm? Uh, how old are your horses? None of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now, the horse I got for sale is seven years old. Not bad. But in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Aufsiger, or just Allie for short. I expect you can name her anything you like, once she's yours. Hmm. Well... Do you sell maps to wild horses around the area? Of course. Hmm. How much are horses? Suppose so. Got one all saddled, if you've got the coin. Thousand gold, which would leave me with very little. I don't know if I want that. On second thought, I'll walk. I'll see about the wild horses. Suit yourself. In fact, I don't even have enough now that I bought the map for the wild horses. Ride strong. Alright, let's look at the map. I guess this just makes it more interesting and worthwhile once I finally get my horse, if I tame it. Uh, I did that with brother once. Brother Hafnar. Oh. So, Spotted Grey near Markarth. Dapple Brown, Solitude, Chestnut, Helgen. Hmm. Red, west of Whiterun in the Open Plains. It is probably the closest. Spotted White, Lower East March. Pale Mare, east of Windhelm. Black, west of Falkreath. Uh, nothing near Riften. If I had a coin, I'd hire a wizard to use Detect Life and help me find these horses. Well, I have something that's almost as good. Do I have a map of it? I thought that comes with a map. Maybe not. Okay. For some reason, I remember a map. Well, uh, let's look at all the horses here. I had a red, a red horse. The Imperials took it from me. Oh, that's different. I guess I can't go through this. There's one to the west. There's two around Windhelm and East March. That's quite the... I have to go that way anyway, so... Well, then, let's look what horses are out there. Because I don't know if I want another red. Uh, the wild horse notes. Pale mare east of Windhelm. What was the spotted white? Lower East March in the cliffs north of Shore Stone. Hmm, that might be it. In the cliffs north of Shore Stone. That could be on the way, I think. A spotted white. Well, maybe I'll go for that one. Until then, we're going to be on... Where the heck are my companions? Yes, father. Groom her too? You know I do. You clean out that muck? Yes, We're on Father, foot for now. And I watered her and I got fresh feed. Time to go. Traveling wenches. The bodyguard. Lavender. Alright, so first things first. We want the white horse. Spotted white horse. Be interesting to ride a white horse in the snow. Uh, oh, they have delivery time, delivery date, twenty fourth of last One seed. Man's trap. That that's today. Ay. It's another's treasure. Let's go. I didn't realize that there was a time. It's just in river wood. Uh, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have picked up the uh, potion from her. Let's go down to Riverwood. Wolf ahead. 
What? All right, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. That's pretty brave of you, thief. Hmm. Walk away right now. <laughs> nice try, but you don't scare me. I'm not going to ask again. There's three of us and one of you. I don't have time for this. Don't get away from me! You don't dare! That takes care of- That was stupid of her. Hmm. I can't believe that just happened. Now I get your loot. Amethyst, gold, lockpick, lockpick. That's for those wolves. It's a white wolf. Exactly, stop running. Well, at least I have help. Remember the time ah. well, the time this is not working if you guys are chasing it. The wolves are a little faster than we are. I'll take its pelt, though. Alright, now back on to Riverwood. that cat. Hey, what did you give me? Oh, four iron ingot. With you two, I'll t I'm going to be loaded with uh, ingots. Speaking of that, I need to give away this uh, dry not give away, but give it to my companions to carry. So they have guards here now, just as the Jarl had said he would They've been traveling around the whole of Skyrim, peddling their wares. Hmm. There's Hod. I have a delivery for you. Huh? I have a potion for you from Arcadia of Whiterun. Thank you. Here, this is for you. All right. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. A hundred gold. I wish it was 200. Never really got to see much of this little village when I was here. I guess there's not much to see. Uh, I heard a lot of farm animals, lots of cows here. Several guards. There's some thistle. It's the dog. I thought it was a wolf for a moment. Ah, wheat. I don't think anybody's going to mind. Oh, leeks. I could use this in cooking. A few more cabbage. Not one horse in all of White Run? Or, sorry, River Run? River Wood? I guess this is the start of the mountain. Ah, pigs, chickens. Oh, hello there, Mr. Horse. So does your pitch, boy. Did I Aye. tell you last time to be more specific? Well, I did have a horse here. If you want someone to visit us, point out the stain on their chest. Alright, so now that that's been delivered, let's get on to what we I really want to do go to the White River Watch. Well, let's get back down there. So, being right here, I think we can cross right here. It looks like it should be okay. A little cold, but I'm a Nord. And it's on this side, I believe. Also, washes some of the dirt away from the blood splatter on my clothes.
I have been on this side of the river before when I was younger. Not that there's anything over here but rocks and trees and maybe the occasional rabbit. I haven't had a chance to use my tent yet, so... I'll start to fire. This is actually a good spot. Wolf! This is what you get. Ah, he saw Lydia. Not this again. If the wolves would stop running, if they would just fight, this wouldn't be an issue. There's not really much room for you to run, wolf. Just don't fall into the water. Uh, I guess I'm not getting that pelt. Oh, it's stuck. But if I go down there, I might not be able to get out. Maybe I can. Look at this rock. Pull it out. Okay, I got his pelt. Oh! This rock is not what I th thought. You know, it's I much higher than I thought. More metal we picked up on the road, but my sack is empty. Speaking of which, before we go into this place, you have to take this dragon parts. As a boy, we heard about the boy that fell into the river, the waterfall, and drowned. After well, he fell over the waterfall and drowned at the bottom. People, some people think that he hit his head. Not sure where in the waterfall that would be. Maybe he fell down multiple, but they found his body down there. Actually, somewhat close to Tundra Home, where we used to live. Never forget that. That's why I'm a little worried about going into the water. Although I do want this fish. Is there another level? I can walk right into there. Ah, oh, this keeps on going down. I always wondered if I can use a bow and shoot a fish once in the air. I'll need to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off me. It's really close. Wait, I think this could be the same place. Another wolf. Not again. Uh, this could be the same place that we tracked that vampire to. Oh, that's Tundra Home right there. I know all your weak points, monster. Back who's, who's that to hit? Stupid wolf. Oh, there's another wolf up there. Anyways, this is where we need to go. I don't care about the wolf. The path goes this way, I remember it, actually. This is one of the last adventures I had in Skyrim before we moved. I have a lot of this... Whoa, 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 we've got bandits. Huh? Uh, I think this is the ones... Yeah, I'm not good. Ah. No, thank you. I don't want to be hit by that. Fortify health. Healing. Tough fighter. Right? Note to Rodolf. Rodolf. There's another. It's an archer up there. I could use some support from my companions who are off chasing that stupid wolf. All right. What does the note say? Rodolf. Rodolf. That's. It's a Nord name. It's just. Never liked that type of spelling. I want to say Rodolf. It doesn't roll off the tongue. Rodolf. Your little stunts try my patience. I know my uncle has issues, but he is our watchman and you will respect him. No more sneaking in and out. No more games with his ledger or nails on his chair. <laughs> One more joke and you'll see how funny a day in the cage can be. Havyar. 
band that's like to play jokes on this old man, I guess. Alright, let's see what we can do here. What arrows do I have? Where is she? Wish I snuck up here. I wish I... I didn't know I'd be under attack. My best bet is to charge her. Let's hope I survive this because she's really good with the bow. You missed! Ah, oh, she did hit me there. Just a scratch. Just a scratch, huh? How many potions I use because I don't have that many more. That's all I got, but if. Yeah, that's almost everything I had. She could have gotten me there. Ooh, an imperial bow. This is what I used down in Cyrodiil. Not as good as a, the orcish bow, but. Should be better than what I have. Iron arrows. That is definitely an improvement. Let me see. <laughs> I just have to improve it. Some more leather straps around it, I bet. And it will be a really, really good bow. I'll hold on to it for now. I don't think it's as good as my uh, ancient Nord bow at the moment because I've improved it. All right, I'm tired. I wish I had like a horn to call my companions or something. Fish. Oh, I have some salt. While I'm waiting for the idiots to come back. I do have to watch how much food I'm carrying, because... Well, I guess it's all that dragon parts, though. Tomato soup. Oh. Tomato, salt, garlic, and leek. And cabbage... No, tomato soup. And this is all like... No? Yes. Uh, I'll make a cabbage soup. That's all I have for salt, but I can grill these leeks. It helps to have a variety of food. The more you have, like in the tomato soup, works better. Ooh, cheese. Garlic. Frost mirim. Green apples. Red apples. Take all of them. Carrot, a couple of those. I could use an apple right now. Apple cabbage soup. I've got plenty of. Where's it? Yeah, red apple. Alright, I'm not going in there. Without... Whoa! Did I step on a trap? I did. That did hurt. Aren't those storm cloaks? What's going on over here? Now where were you guys? Stick with me, please. It was a bit of a tough fight for me up there. Come. We have a sword to get back, bandits to kill. And this place brings back not very good memories. I'd just like to get it over with. This is the cave where the uh, Vigilance of Stendar killed the vampire that they believe was responsible for killing Antti all those years ago. And 
we lived right there. That was our home. Could very well have been the vampire, but Hafnar and me weren't not ready to test it. Let's see what's inside, shall we? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.